the video in today's video i'm going to be showing you the 2023 mazda 3 hatchback this one is the select package so let me go ahead and show you all the features it has under the hood there is a 2.5 naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine this engine is connected to a six-speed automatic transmission this engine produces 191 horsepower and 186 pound-feet of torque and the fuel economy numbers are very impressive on this mazda hatch 27 in the city 35 highway and 30 combined and you guys can get this mazda in front wheel drive or all-wheel drive and you can get it in automatic transmission or manual transmission but if you guys go for the turbo mazda 3 hatch it will be standard with all-wheel drive here is a masabi sticker of this 2023 mazda 3 if you guys are interested in the standard features it has go ahead and pause the video and the price with destination is 26,180 if you guys are curious about the color the color is called deep crystal blue mecca and it does look pretty good on this mazda 3 hatch and as i said guys there is seven trims you could choose from there is the s select which is this one preferred carbon edition premium turbo and then turbo premium plus coming to the front i think the front end of this mazda looks nice definitely not aggressive and mazda is well known for that for the headlights the housing is very small very thin and everything right here in the front is led high and low beam are sitting in a projector tube they are led and the turn signal indicator is right on top of the high and low beam the grille is finished in matte black and the mazda logo is nice and big finished in chrome it does have the sensor for the emergency braking in the bottom there is a bottom grille this piece right here is finished in flat black and yeah overall there is really no lines here in the front the bumper is very simple and uh, this piece right here is finished actually in blacked out chrome but yeah in the front there is really no aggressive sporty design but overall uh, this car does look nice and sporty and i'm definitely going to be taking it on a pov test drive and tell you how this mazda 3 hatch drives but let's go ahead and move to the side and i'll show you the side view of this mazda 3 hatch here is a side view of this hatchback and i personally think that the back and the side are the best looking i don't really like the front of this hatchback i really wish that mazda made the front end look a little bit more aggressive or a little bit more uh, sporty all the door handles are finished in the same color as this car and i really love this blue color i think it does look very good on this hatchback uh, when it's cloudy this blue looks like black but when the sun is hitting it you could definitely see the blue in it the bottom portion of the window trim is finished in chrome the top is finished in black on the mirror there is a blind spot monitoring system and a turn signal indicator and for the rims i personally think they look very good mazda did a great job with them and it being right on top of the base trim i think they look amazing the size is 215 45 18 and yeah overall the side view looks very good let's go ahead and move to the back and i'll show you the back view of this hatchback here is the back of this mazda 3 and the back looks pretty good as i said i prefer the back and the side view more than the front I think Mazda should make the front a little bit more sporty for the taillights. They do have a really nice look to them. Everything right here is LED, which I like. But for the turn signal indicators, they do blink like they are halogen. But I think they are LED. Sky Active badge is on the right. Mazda 3 badge on the left. And of course, the Mazda badge is back here finished in chrome. Here is the wiper. Not a big fan of the way how the glass looks like or designed and for the spoiler it is finished in black again not a big fan of this whole thing i think mazda should have made the spoiler look a little bit better maybe extend it a little bit out and in the bottom there is reflectors they look very good this part right here is finished in gloss black a little bit hard to see over the camera dual exhaust pipes those pipes or those tips are connected to the pipes and yeah overall i think the back looks very good here's the key of this mazda 3 hatch not a big fan of mazda's keys in general i really think they should work on the design they're too bulky too big not a big fan of the buttons being on the side there's three buttons right here on the side lock unlock and a panic button and there's a physical key inside of this uh, key you could take it out by sliding this right here but let's go ahead and open the hatch 
there's only one way and it is a rubber button right underneath the Mazda badge the hatch opens nice and quick it's not powered there is a button up there to lock the car but then you have to manually um, close this hatch there's a handle right here which is nice it is nice and big there is a privacy cover that goes up and down and inside there is a good amount of space nice and deep and yeah overall I think there is a good amount of space inside let me go ahead and show you what's underneath there's a spare tire with the jack and the jack tools but yeah overall good amount of space and you could of course drop the seats down if you want to here is the door handle the door handle does have a sensor behind it that's how you unlock the car and to lock it there is a sensor right here just go ahead and tap on the sensor and this will take care of locking this Mazda 3 here is a front door panel and it does look pretty good and mostly everything on this door panel is soft usually Mazda does a great job with their door panels the dashboards and basically the interiors overall this top portion right here is nice and soft this right here has a ton of padding this whole thing is actually nice and soft door handle feels nice and solid nice and light door locks tweeter I love the gray trim this is nice and soft the armrest is soft all the window switches mirror controls everything looks good and I love the silver trim on the window switches and I believe all windows are actually automatic up and down this right here on the side is soft this right here is soft the bottom is plastic which is completely fine and there's a decent amount of space but I'm noticing that there is no speaker in the bottom of this door there's only like a tweeter slash speaker right here actually the tweeter is up there that's the speaker but it is very small coming inside the seats are extremely comfortable they're wrapped in leather for 25,000 I think that's very good with 26,000 with destination I think that's very good the seats are manual which I think is fine for the price point but let's go ahead and move inside this Mazda 3 hatch and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside so here is the interior of this 2023 Mazda 3 hatch does look pretty good from the inside and uh, as I said guys everything right here is nice and soft they seriously did a great job with the fan finish and uh, yeah this is padded this right here is soft even that right there is soft this middle console right here is nice and soft the armrest is extremely soft so Mazda does a great job with uh, soft materials in their cars steering wheel has a really nice look to it it's a little bit on the bigger side the ring itself is a little bit on the bigger side for a small car like this I really wish it was a little bit smaller in diameter but overall I think it does look good right here on the left there is the volume controls seek buttons source phone controls and info button this info button if you click it it will change the center of uh, the center gauge basically and on the right is the cruise controls and this button right here will turn on the main switch or the main uh, cruise control and behind the steering wheel there is the headlight controls with the turn signal controls and on the right wipers for the front and back trip reset is in the back two buttons and actually the primary control is those two buttons trip reset is actually right here on the left and uh, this steering wheel is actually wrapped in leather which is nice for 25,000 26,000 with destination there's an 8.8 .8 inch screen and the vents look good this is nice and soft it's not padded but it's wrapped in leather it does have a little bit of softness to it the vents look good a little bit on the lighter side which is completely fine and there is this silver trim I thought that was a storage place right here it would have been nice to have a small storage place for some coins this button right here will turn off I think the safety um, features traction control and here is the 8.8 .8 inch screen let me go ahead and show you the backup camera 
backup camera resolution is actually very good nice and wide if you guys go for with the higher trims you're going to get the 360 and uh, by the way this Mazda 3 has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto but they're not wireless and yeah overall I love the fact that the dash is nice and soft and uh, vents look good I love the stitching let me go ahead and show you the glove box glove box is actually very nice and big for a small car like this and for the climate controls very easy to use here is the on button the fan speed does have dual climate control front back here is the emergency light button I love the silver trims and here is the engine start stop but I really wish that the ring around it was finished in brushed aluminum just to match the trims right here and coming down there is a storage place for a phone two cup holders nice and big and here is the shifter that will control the six-speed automatic transmission the shifter has plus and minus so you can control your gears um, yourself but there is no paddle shifters and I love the fact that the shifter goes into gears very smooth there is a normal mode and sport mode and if you move the switch back it will put it back in normal mode so there's no eco mode just only normal and sport and uh, here is the volume knob favorite button e-brake brake hold and then uh, there is a few controls to control the screen so you could rotate that wheel to go up and down press on it to go to the place you want to go to there is a back button home music and I believe this is the navigation and as I said the armrest is extremely soft it is nice and long this is nice and soft even right here this whole thing right here is nice and soft so you could rest your knee actually on here which is nice inside there is a ton of space it is nice and deep there is two USB uh, type A and there is a 12 volt inside there is a divider inside too and this armrest does move back on front so that's nice and up here the rear view mirror looks good it is nice and big and seeing out of the back is very good I love the fact that the bezels are nice and thin it's not frameless but the bezels are very very thin LED lights which is nice for 20 five or twenty six thousand uh, there's a button right here that will turn on all the lights and another button right here that will keep the lights off and the doors are open the visor is hard but that's completely fine there is an extension right here let's see if I could actually extend this visor so the visor does not extend but it does have a small extension there is a mirror inside nice and big but there is no light here is the back door panel and the back door panel looks the same as the front and I love the fact that Mazda did not cheap out. They did put a ton of soft materials back here. This is nice and soft. This is soft. I love the gray trim. The door handle feels nice and solid. By the way, I did confirm all windows are automatic up and down. This armrest is extremely soft. I love the stitching. It's not that visible, but there's a little bit of stitching. And here is the speaker decent amount of storage place in the back of this door this is plastic but it does feel of it does feel like a very nice solid uh, plastic so definitely not cheap and for the back seats back seats are an okay size there's an okay leg room headroom is all right as well nothing crazy or impressive but you could definitely put an adult back here but I think it will be better for uh, teenagers and uh, kids. This is extremely soft, wrapped in leather. Two cup holders, nice and big. And coming inside, there is no air vents, which is completely fine for the price point. But I just love the fact that the back door panels are very, very soft. Mazda seriously did a great job with using soft uh, materials and uh, 
for a t for 25,000, I think uh, that's a very good move because other car companies are putting uh, plastic in the back. And uh, that's how the front of this Mazda 3 hatch looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2023 Mazda 3 hatch. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come and see Spencer here at Mazda of Milford. And if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this, please like and subscribe because it does help a lot. And as always, I'll see you next time.